Early medieval daggers are one of the things that are kind of iconic in a sense of our idea of the Middle Ages. They are not necessarily a lot of those in the li literature and the sources that describe them to us today. So oftentimes when we're doing medieval daggers, we have to really look and do some research to find forms and styles that would be appropriate for the period. Today we're going to look at a couple of the early, we say 13th century daggers from Arms and Armor. We have our Crusader dagger, which is a kind of a simple form, a spherical pommel, straight cross guard, double-edged blade, and our Morgan dagger, which has more of a clover leaf shaped uh, pommel, slightly turned guard, and double-edged blade. These double-edged combat style daggers are the types of daggers that we see in the movies and are very popular in literature and such, but we don't see a lot of evidence for them in the sources of the period. These are both based on pieces that you can see in the Majajowski Bible or the Morgan Bible, MSM 638, which is in the Pierpont Morgan Library. Uh, it's a fantastic illustrated Bible that has uh, many weapons and armor uh, examples from that 13th century period. It was probably put together in the 1240s, 1250s in France, and the pieces that we go from there usually have a real good historical context. So especially the Morgan Bible dagger that we make is based on the illustrations from that uh, Bible itself. The Crusader dagger, we based not only on illustrations from that Bible, but also a few other sources that show this form of dagger. The earliest form we, or uh, depiction we have of kind of a double-edged dagger that we think is probably a dagger, it might be a sword, but we think it's a dagger. And it literally is just a image uh, illustrating equipment. So it shows it in profile and it very much looks as if it is the Crusader's dagger in a sense. It's got a straight guard, a spherical pommel. Uh, this particular uh, style, it's hard to tell if it's a sphere or an oval or a wheel, but in most cases, the early ones tend to be more spherical than a wheel style. That seems to appear a little later. These combat daggers are literally designed mainly for combat, for fighting. They are not designed to be used as kind of tools this Crusader dagger is an excellent piece for an early 13th, but we could even argue very uh, consistently, I think, to 12th century, maybe even late 11th century, but that is uh, less likely probably. But definitely, you know, if you're looking for the earliest dagger for a depiction of someone from that period, this would be probably one of the forms of combat knives they would have had in their belt. The Morgan Bible dagger you probably would pay, place a little later, 13th century, maybe early 1200s. Uh, you could see the depiction here where you have that kind of form or shaped pommel, the slightly downturned guard, the double-edged blade. Uh, again, very much a combat type of knife, but it is uh, probably a little later in form than the Crusader. In our combat knives, we use 1050 for these blades. Heat treat them in-house. They have a full tang that goes up through the pommel, and we have a cast steel guard and pommel on them, a wood cord grip with a pigskin covering, usually black leather. They are designed to be uh, examples of that type of fighting knife from the period, sturdy, beefy edges, really designed for use in the hand against someone else in hand-to-hand -hand combat. So if you're thinking about a medieval knife and you have an early uh, time period you'd like to have, 13th century or so, the Crusader dagger or the Morgan Bible dagger would make excellent choices from the daggers we make at Arms and Armor.